Hi, I'm Danny with Mass Media. I'm here with Corey Wyatt of Midtown MMA. He's getting ready to prepare for a very tough opponent, Jesse Apodaca, at Cage Combat 5 at Spirit Mountain in just short of two weeks from now. Corey, you, this is your last amateur bout. You decided to take this amateur bout before going pro to defend your UCS title belt, which we see hanging right behind us. How has your training been going? Um, it's been going uh, excellent. I couldn't uh, have had a better training camp thus far. Um, one of the things that I've uh, been neglecting, which we're going over now, is going back to some of the basics because we've been working on and improving a lot of things. But, you know, I haven't fought in two months, which is feels like a phenomenally long time. But over this last two months, I've kind of reverberated just back to the basics and perfecting those. So I feel like my ground game is getting, and my overall striking game is getting a lot more solid. And, and I'm, I'm twice as strong, twice as fast. I'm just feeling really good right now. How do you feel about facing Jesse Apodaca? He's a very tough opponent. He's a potent striker. He's coming off of a fresh loss against Jose Rodriguez of Team Quest, and he's looking for a win, and he looks to come out strong. You, uh, How do you feel about facing an opponent who's coming off of a loss who's as hungry as Jesse is? I'm excited because I've been wanting to fight Jesse for a while because he's such a talented striker, and he's tough and he has heart. He's He's a warrior and has warrior spirit, and that's the competition that I want. He's coming off a loss against Jose Rodriguez. He, Jose Rodriguez is a big guy. He's really big, so he can't really take too much from Jesse, which is you know a smaller frame like I am. Um, so it's a fight I've been looking forward to. Um, I think Jesse's been looking forward to too. We would have had a, a fight sooner, but you know um, he's been wanting to train and uh, get a little more experience under his belt, which is awesome. Um, before he steps in the cage with me, now we're going to finally you know step in the cage, and I think we both are just going to really enjoy this fight. And, you know, we're two strikers going to strike and go at it, so it's going to be exciting, and we're pretty much doing it for the fans. So. You've been preparing a lot as you come off of an injury from your last fight that you won against Travis Napier. Uh, have you what, have you been working on anything in particularly that's suited towards Jesse, or have you just been training in general? How, how's your training been going? I've been just training in general, nothing particular. I've been just focusing to step up my game everywhere, my striking, my transitions, my ground, my submissions, my positions, and because always getting ready for fights, it's I've always been neglecting one area or the other. But now in this training camp, I've focused on everything, and I've I felt like I've like brought out all the guns. I've been uh, I've been training at Northwest Martial Arts with Brent Primus and Tommy Massey, and then I've been coming here and working with Levi Kurtovich, and I've been bringing in the big guys in the area like Jimmy Jeanette to help me roll for to focus on technique versus power and strength because I've always, you know, when I run out of technique, I go for power and strength. Well, you need to come apart in your MMA game where you're not depending on power and strength, we need to rely on technique. So I've been kind of pulling all stops and bringing in the assets that I need where I feel there's a hole in my games and specifically improving those. So I've been working on everything in general as a whole to prepare for not just this fight but my upcoming, you know, pro career. So. Well, we're looking forward to an extremely exciting bout up at Cage Combat 5 at Spirit Mount Casino. That's going to be December 9th. It's a Friday night. You're definitely not going to want to miss that. It's going to be an exciting bout. Uh, there's a lot of bouts going on. Follow that. There's a split decisions event at Inferno on December 10th. And Corey, is there anything that you'd like to say to your sponsors or anybody out there you'd like to thank in particular? Um. Uh, absolutely. I just want to thank everyone for their support. You know, the support leading up to this fight, the support from uh, my, 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 my amateur career. It's been awesome. They've helped me get by a, a lot in so many different ways. Um, nothing but to be grateful for those. And then the, the fighters in the area that are that are that I'm surrounded by right now help me prepare for my fights, help me rebound from this injury, man. It's been awesome. Unwavering support. And I thank them all tremendously. You know, uh, and, you know I, and to shout them out right now, you know, I, I thank Crybaby Inc., uh, Eugene Liquidators, Express Yourself Graphics, uh, uh, Northwest Auto Group, um, Max Muscle, um, Wynance Family Health Food Stores, and uh, you know all my other uh, supporters and fans out there that have helped me help me get by. Man, it's it's I mean it's been awesome. Midtown MMA, uh, Oregon Kickboxing Academy. You know Ben Scoggins, Tommy Massey, Levi Curtis, Brent Primus, Jimmy Jeanette, my brother Kyle Marsh is here for two weeks, helped me condition getting ready for this fight. I mean just everyone that's here helped me, which I'm being surrounded by a lot of people. You know my teammates Anthony McDonald, Sean Clemens. We've been putting in a lot of work for this fight, getting me back in shape, and uh, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I've been ready for weeks now. So I'm excited. It's almost here. Two weeks. I'm ready. Well, we're looking forward to it. We'll see you guys at Cage Combat 5. 
I'm Danny with Mass Media. Thank you for your time. We look to see you there, December 9th.